Hey guys, this is Kayla with DSLR Video Shooter where it's all about making better videos. Today we're gonna to take a look at a small section of the corporate video guide and we're gonna specifically look at media management on set. So what you're gonna see comes from section two of the guide and section two is all about production. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. Hey guys, we are back in my studio to talk about media management on set. What happens when a card fills up on a camera? What do you do with it? Where does it go? How do you keep that data safe? And when it comes to that system, the main thing is to keep it simple. You want it to be very straightforward so that you can do it again and again and again and stay consistent with your cards and your data. So the system that I use is a very simple letter and number system. The letter represents which camera the card came from and the number is the order of cards. So if I had a card that had B3 on it, that's from camera B and that's the third card that came out of that camera. If you're going to use a system, you're going to need the following items. You'll need some way to hold your cards, whether that be little card case, card wallets, some tape. I like to use blue tape because gaff tape can get kind of sticky. And then finally, a pen or a marker. First, grab your cameras and take some of that blue tape and mark the cameras. So if you have three cameras, it would be A, B, C. Even if you have one camera, the system is going to work and you can just mark that camera A. Next, I grab my tripods and I put little card sized pieces of blue tape on the actual tripod leg. And then I go ahead and label those actual pieces of tape. So if this tripod is for camera A, it's gonna be camera A1, A2, A3, and so on. This will make labeling the cards as they come out of the camera later much easier. Now you're pretty much ready to go. So once you're on set, you can go ahead and record. When that card fills up, I pull the card out. I go ahead and lock the card if it's an SD card. And then I grab that piece of tape that represents the number of the card. So for camera A, it's gonna be A1. And then it goes into your card case. From here, you just repeat the process. The beauty of this system is no matter how big the project is, at the end of the day, even if your cards are all mixed up, you'll be able to tell which camera that card came from and which card number it represents. When we get to post-production, I'll talk about how I use this system for ingesting media, but uh, that's just a quick overview of a system that I use and has worked well for me so far. So that's how I've been dealing with media management on set for about a year now. And I put it together because with some of these big projects like this corporate video guide, um, it's very easy to get confused when you have three cameras and you're shooting for several days. So hope that was helpful to you guys. If you wanna see more, check out the link in the description where you can find the trailer to the guide and uh, pick up a full copy for yourself. In my next video, we're gonna jump into importing and talk about some tips for importing footage. And while importing seems like a really simple thing, um, there's some great ways to improve how you import footage to make sure that your project is safe. So that'll be my next video and it'll also be from the corporate video guide. So until then, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.